Donald Trump needs no introduction. No doubt you know that he's the former U.S. president and running for office again. But I'm sure you didn't know this unexpected thing that happened to Trump back when he was first running for office in 2016. Trump visited a first grade classroom, and he got the surprise of his life when a little black girl handed him this. International Christian Academy was definitely rowdy on the morning that Donald Trump was to visit. The kids were screaming, Trump is going to be here. Trump is going to be here. Some kids were running along the busy hallway, and a few pupils even tripped in their haste. The teachers tried to calm the chaos, but the energy was too high. After all, it's not every day you get visited by a presidential candidate. In the midst of the chaos, a black girl named Jasmine was making her way to her locker. Like other pupils, Jasmine was a little excited to see Trump. In fact, she had a special gift for him, just a small token from a first grader. Jasmine had worked on the gift for days, and she had poured all her hopes and energy into it. Now it was ready, and Trump would soon arrive. But uh-oh, trouble was coming for young Jasmine. As she hurried to retrieve the gift from her kicker, she felt a sharp tug on her hair. Of course, it was a bully. It was a bigger girl named Megan, and she grabbed Jasmine's hair and pulled her back roughly. Jasmine winced in pain, but she kept her grip on her locker. Megan sneered as she asked Jasmine where she thought she was going. The bully had heard that Jasmine had a gift for Trump, and she thought it was funny. Do you really think he'd accept anything from an ugly black girl like you? You're not worthy to give Trump a gift. The words stung deep, but Jasmine refused to back down. She looked Megan in the eye and stood her ground like a little soldier. The gift is for Mr. Trump, she said. I made it for him, and I'm going to give it to him. Megan's eyes glinted with jealousy as she followed Jasmine to her locker. In one swift motion, she snatched the gift from the locker. She began to laugh. This? This is what you think he'll want? Megan said mockingly. She held the drawing up high, just out of Jasmine's reach. Jasmine yelled at Megan to give it back, and her voice broke with emotion. Tears streamed down her face as she desperately reached for her drawing. Give me back my gift, she kept saying. With a surge of courage, Jasmine reached out and grabbed the drawing back from Megan. Luckily, it was not torn or damaged. She clutched it tightly to her chest, almost like a mother holding her newborn. It was honestly touching. One look at Megan's face would tell you that she was taken aback by Jasmine's sudden defiance. Jasmine had never pushed back so much before. Something had given her wings. Megan was not ready for it. The bully stepped back and the smile wiped right off her face. She walked away leaving the little black girl in her gift. Jasmine wiped her tears away with the back of her hand and took a deep breath. She was not going to back down. She was surprised and proud of herself for standing up to her bully. But something had changed. She did not feel too confident about her gift anymore. Would Trump even like it? Would he even notice her? Poor Jasmine's mood had changed from one of excitement to nervousness. Her shoulders fell, and instead of fubbing like other kids, she dragged herself to the classroom. She was no longer sure about giving Trump her heartfelt token, but she did not know how it was going to play out. That was October 2016, and it was just a month before the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Trump was running a high-stakes campaign, and his eyes were on the country's biggest office. While Trump's campaign team was having mixed feelings about their chances, Donald Trump himself was feeling particularly confident. He believed he had what it took to secure a victory. All he had to do was connect more with his voters. So an idea came up. Kids. Trump with kids. So Trump decided to visit the International Christian Academy in Las Vegas. The visit was part of a strategic effort to connect with the Christian voting bloc. Their support was crucial for his campaign. The International Christian Academy in Las Vegas is a private, faith-based school. The academy is known for its commitment to providing quality education within a Christian framework. ICA is a school that prides itself on adding Christian values to its curriculum to foster both academic excellence and spiritual growth. When the school authorities received the news, they were very pleased. They immediately sprang into action and started making immediate preparations. They picked the best first grade class students and informed them that Donald Trump was coming. Of course, the announcement caused a stir among the children. Most of the kids were thrilled. They had seen Trump on TV and they saw him as a big celebrity. However, not all the students shared this excitement. Some had heard from their parents that Trump wasn't a nice person and it made them nervous about his visit. One child in particular was really affected by Trump's coming. Her name was Flora and she refused to come to school because she didn't want to see Trump. Flora was Hispanic and her naughty friends had told her that Trump didn't like Hispanics, which scared her. It took a lot of persuasion from her parents and teachers to get her to come. Even though she cried a lot that morning, she eventually agreed. She was curious to see Trump in person and discover for herself what kind of man he was. The teachers, on the other hand, were enthusiastic about the visit. 
Banners welcoming Trump were hung, and the classrooms were tidied up to perfection. The walls were adorned with bright, cheerful posters, and a red carpet was laid out at the main entrance to make the occasion feel even more significant. Classrooms were transformed into showcases of festive preparation. The first grade classroom, where Trump would soon make his appearance, was carefully arranged. Each desk was neatly set up, with freshly cleaned surfaces and little name tags were carefully positioned. The teachers made sure the children were dressed in their best outfits to look like they were part of a grand celebration. When the day finally arrived, the International Christian Academy in Las Vegas was filled with a buzz of anticipation. Everyone, the kids, teachers, and staff, was caught up in the excitement of Donald Trump's visit. The school's administration had worked diligently to ensure everything was perfect for Trump's arrival. The staff and teachers coordinated every detail, from the schedule of the visit to the logistics of the media coverage. There was a sense of pride and enthusiasm among the staff, and they were eager to make the event memorable for both the students and their special guest. The stage was set for a day that would be remembered for years to come. Trump's motorcade pulled up to the school and he was flanked by media vans and security personnel. As he stepped out, he was greeted by the principal and other school officials. He smiled and waved at the cameras before heading inside. Inside, the children could barely contain their excitement. The teacher gathered them and reminded them once again to be on their best behavior. Jasmine clutched her gift tightly and her heart raced with anticipation. Flora was now curious rather than scared. She sat quietly as she was still unsure of what to expect. Look who's here, Mr. Trump, the teacher announced as Trump entered the classroom. The children erupted in a mix of cheers and hushed whispers. Most of them were in awe while others were apprehensive. Trump greeted the class with a warm smile. Are they all great students? He asked the teacher. He pointed to a boy staring up at him and said, great student. The reactions from the children varied. Some smiled and waved while others like Flora watched silently. Hello, Mr. Trump, one brave student said. Trump greeted each student, shaking their hands and asking them questions. He noticed the mix of emotions, but it did not bother them. Does everybody love school? He asked. Most of the kids responded with a resounding yes, but one honest voice said no. Trump chuckled as he appreciated the child's honesty. Who's the best student? Trump asked next. Several hands shot up, but Trump quickly added everybody to ensure that no one felt left out. The children reacted with different questions and comments. One even commented about the color of his hair. See, Anna, I told you his hair wasn't orange, one child exclaimed, and everyone burst into laughter. Not all the kids were excited, though. One boy in particular didn't even bother to turn around when Trump came in. The boy sat at his desk, focusing intently on his homework. Trump approached him and asked, Are you enjoying your studies? But the boy did not answer, and he remained absorbed in his work. Trump patted his shoulder gently and said, Always make your parents proud. The boy still did not even look up for a moment. He just focused on his own work. Cameras flashed, and the media captured every moment of the event. All this time, Jasmine stood off to the side and quietly observed the event. Her heart raced as she clutched the small gift that she had spent days creating. She always felt left out in school activities and today was no different. Jasmine came from a poor family and she lived with her widowed father. Despite their struggles, her dad had spoken highly of Trump and it had inspired Jasmine to make this special gesture. The sight of Trump's warm smile and friendly demeanor helped ease some of her nerves, but the crowd of cameras and the presence of so many students made her uncomfortable. She was also well aware that not all the kids were excited to see Trump. Megan and her friend whispered among themselves and they cast sideways glances at Jasmine, which only increased her anxiety. Trump's gaze swept across the room and he noticed the little black girl standing quietly. He could see that she wanted to talk to him, so he gave her a gentle nod and encouraged her to come forward. Jasmine felt her stomach churn as she took her unsure steps toward him. Her small frame seemed to be nothing compared to Trump's huge size. Jasmine held out her gift to Trump with trembling hands. It was wrapped in ash wrapping paper and it looked very simple, but to her it was a symbol of her hope and respect. Jasmine tried to speak, but her voice was barely a whisper. She began to shake nervously as the weight of the moment overwhelmed her. She gripped the gift tightly and there were goosebumps on her arms. Even as Trump reached for his hands to receive it, she could not let go. Trump noticed her nervousness, and he understood her discomfort. He approached the little girl with a warm, reassuring smile. He placed his hand gently over hers and gently encouraged her to release the gift into his hands. Jasmine's fingers slowly unclenched and she let go of the drawing. As Trump examined the gift, he noticed the dried tears on Jasmine's cheeks. He became concerned and he softly asked her why she was crying. 
His voice was gentle and free of the usual bravado he displayed in public. Jasmine was caught off guard by his kindness. She hesitated before speaking, but before she could respond, one of the students from the class sneered. She doesn't belong here. She shouldn't be here. The comment hung in the air, and it was a sharp contrast to the otherwise cheerful atmosphere. Trump turned to the student with a stern look on his face. What do you mean? He asked. Jasmine's lip trembled, and she finally burst into tears. She was unable to hold back her emotions any longer. As she sobbed, she explained that she was at the school on a scholarship. As a result, some of the other kids did not like that she was different. They bullied her and said that she did not belong. Jasmine lived in a small apartment with her father, who worked long hours at a local grocery store to make ends meet. Her mother had passed away when Jasmine was very young, and her father had been doing his best to provide for her ever since. Despite their struggles, Jasmine's father always encouraged her to dream big and work hard in school. He believed in her potential and wanted her to have the best education possible. Jasmine loved to draw and found joy in her sketches. She spent hours creating colorful pictures, often imagining a world where everyone was kind and supportive. Her father noticed her talent and saved up enough money to buy her a set of colored pencils and a sketchbook. They quickly became her prized possessions. Drawing was her way of escaping the harsh realities of her life and expressing her hopes and dreams. When Jasmine received a scholarship to attend the prestigious International Christian Academy, her father was overjoyed. He saw it as an opportunity for Jasmine to have a brighter future. However, the change was difficult for her. Many of the students came from wealthy families and had never experienced the struggles she faced. This difference made Jasmine a target for bullying. Some kids teased her about her clothes, race, and background, and it made her feel like an outsider. The room fell silent as the weight of Jasmine's words sank in. Trump felt a surge of empathy, and he seized the moment to address the issue of bullying and discrimination. Listen, everyone, Trump began as he addressed both the students and the teachers. Bullying is never acceptable. It doesn't matter where you come from or what you have. Everyone deserves respect and kindness. Jasmine is a brave young girl who came here today to share something special with us. Instead of making her feel unwelcome, we should be celebrating her courage. The students were taken aback by Trump's heartfelt words and they looked at Jasmine with new eyes. The energy in the room shifted from one of casual excitement to one of introspection. Trump continued and told them that he wanted each of them to think about how they would feel if they were in Jasmine's place. Let's make sure we treat everyone with kindness and respect, he concluded. The atmosphere became more somber as the students reflected on Trump's speech. A few of the first graders were visibly remorseful and they approached Jasmine to offer their apologies. The teachers also expressed their support for Trump's speech and they reminded the class that bullying and discrimination of any kind were not acceptable. Trump turned his attention back to Jasmine and examined her gift. He unwrapped it and saw what was in it. It was a drawing. The drawing was vibrant and imaginative and it depicted Trump as a superhero. He wore a bright red cape, had a big smiling face and his eyes were drawn as if shooting laser beams. The colorful details made the drawing both funny and endearing. Trump's eyes lit up as he took in the drawing. He looked at Jasmine with admiration and said, this is fantastic, thank you for this wonderful gift. He bent down, gave her a warm hug and placed a gentle kiss on her cheek. Jasmine cringed as the cameras took videos and pictures but her face brightened with surprise and joy. The embarrassment she had felt earlier melted away as Trump's genuine warmth enveloped her. The class watched and they were moved by the display of kindness and support. Flora observed this interaction and began to soften. She saw a different side of Trump and it was one that was kind and approachable. Maybe he wasn't so bad after all, she thought. Trump spent a few more minutes interacting with the students and he answered their questions. As the visit came to a close, the children gathered for a group photo. Each child beamed with excitement as they stood next to Donald Trump. The moment was captured in a snapshot of smiles and camaraderie. Trump waved goodbye to the kids, his smile showing genuine warmth and appreciation. Trump made sure to include Jasmine in the group photo. He stood beside her with his arm around her shoulder. The other students were now more mindful of their behavior, and they gathered around with smiles and encouragement. As Trump prepared to leave, Jasmine felt a surge of happiness. Her experience with Trump had been unexpectedly uplifting, and she could see the positive impact it had on her classmates as well. Leaving the school, Trump had a new perspective. He had experienced something unexpected, an honest connection with the children that touched him deeply. The simple act of Jasmine giving her hand-drawn picture and her brave story of overcoming bullying had made a strong impact on him. The following week, Jasmine arrived at school transformed. Her classmates saw the positive changes in Jasmine, and they were respectful and supportive. 
No one dared to bully her anymore. Jasmine's bravery and Trump's kindness had changed the school's atmosphere, making it a more inclusive and empathetic place for all the students. In the end, Jasmine's simple act of giving, combined with Trump's heartfelt response, had created a ripple of kindness and understanding that extended far beyond that single day. Even the simplest acts of kindness and sincerity from children can touch the hearts of even the most important individuals. Kindness and understanding are powerful tools that can make a big difference in our lives and the lives of others. What do you think about this genuine moment with Donald Trump? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for watching.